Boeing's new air-to-air -air missile concept for U.S. Air Force. Boeing has received a new contract from the U.S. Air Force for work related to the development of both compact and very long-range air-to-air missile designs derived from a modular missile concept, the company unveiled last year. The Air Force Research Laboratory awarded Boeing a contract valued at $9.8 million to investigate advanced missile subsystem components to support the compact air-to-air -air missile and extended range air-to-air -air missile systems yesterday, according to the Pentagon's daily contracting notice. The deal covers work through September 28, 2027 and this award is the result of a white paper from Broad Agency announcement, the announcement also noted. The notice does not include any specific details about the compact air-to-air -air missile, CAM, or the extended range air-to-air -air missile, IRAM, designs or proposed designs, as they might exist now. However, Boeing has confirmed the compact air-to-air -air missile and extended range air-to-air -air missile is related to the LRAM, long-range air-to-air -air missile, concept we first displayed last year which we developed that concept as part of our response to the broad agency announcement noted in the award announcement. Boeing's long-range missile concept, as it has been shown publicly, consists of two core components, a kill vehicle and a booster section, both of which share a highly common physical architecture. With this configuration, the booster would provide initial acceleration and propulsion through some portion of the weapon's flight, before falling off. Another rocket motor in the kill vehicle would then ignite and carry the missile through the rest of its flight. It's essentially a two-stage air-to-air missile. The concept is being designed with a modular and open architecture approach. This modular and open architecture allows us to create the interfaces to be able to insert technology and capabilities desired by any customer, depending on the requirements they develop for any future program of record the long-range air-to-air missile might be used for, Zach Wood then manager, advanced weapons global sales and marketing at Boeing's Phantom Works. As with the previous capabilities, we have not settled on the final design for what this concept could do, he added. Depending on what the government would want on a future weapon, we will determine the best path forward, whether it be hit to kill or a traditional warhead. This is of course, not the first time the Air Force has expressed an interest in acquiring new air-to-air -air missiles that could provide additional capability in areas not fully covered by existing weapons, such as the shorter-range AAM-9X Sidewinder or the longer-range AAM-120D Advanced Medium-Range Air-to-Air -air Missile, AMROM, or their expected successors. Interest in smaller air-to-air -air weapons is also now growing further as a byproduct of various advanced uncrewed aircraft projects, many of which include plans for armed drones that could work cooperatively with crewed combat jets in air combat scenarios. Regardless of the exact work Boeing will now conduct under this new contract with AFRL or its relationship to the company's long-range air-to-air concept, the Air Force certainly has an active interest in future modular missiles. The service's 2023 fiscal year budget proposal, released earlier this year, included a request for money to support research and development into a modular advanced missile, details about which are still limited. It will certainly be interesting to see what might emerge from the work that Boeing is now set to do on the compact air-to-air -air missile and extended range air-to-air -air missile systems designs. Thank you for watching please like, share, comment, and subscribe.